Custom variables, they're all the rage. How do you do that? It's, it's pretty cool. It's a, a little thing I made. So this is my kid, Indy. Say what's up. What's up? Right on. Hey, um, do you know anything about custom variables in Google Analytics? Mm -mm. No? What do you think it could possibly mean? Well, you're right. Let me tell you. So um, custom variables are these sweet things. Maybe you've seen them over here at in your Google Analytics, right? Do you have Google Analytics, Cindy? No, right. Well, you should. So over here in audience, there's, cu there's custom variables. And so, um, you know, what are you leaving? This isn't captivating for you? So, um, <laughs> yes. So... <laughs> So right over here, you see, you, um, you might have seen these custom variables, and maybe you didn't know what they were. Well, there are five custom variables you can put into Google Analytics, and this is the page over here that you can learn about. Um, this is in the Google Developers section. But what it is basically is they give you this little piece of code here that says set custom var, and there are these different parameters, four different parameters. There are five slots, um, then you can name it, and then you give it a value, and then scope, which is optional, defines the level of the user engagement. But so it's interesting, the value is, is where things become cool, because what you can do here is, and then it, so it shows how you could put um, this code in your Google Analytics, you just put it right in here. And so you could do things like if um, somebody fills out a form and says they're male or female, or it tells what their uh, job uh, is, you know, like they're the director of marketing. And so those things, once you encode them on the, um, you, you know, with this custom variable, then it'll show up in your Google Analytics over here. Now, the problem with this is this is not particularly easy. It doesn't sound easy, does it, Indy? No, right, of course it's not easy. And so, because you have to usually figure out, you know, how you're going to code that, and you probably want to have a developer. But what I wanted to point out is there is this um, Google Analytics for WordPress made by Yoast, okay? And he does all these really cool um, plugins for WordPress SEO and that sort of thing. And so he has this really great Google Analytics plugin and this is it over here. This is installed on the Sagerock blog. And one of the things, if you have this, maybe you have noticed that there is a custom variables section in here. And you can pick five of these, okay? You can pick, you can say, you know, show logged in users, the post type, the author name, tags, publication year, single category, all categories, that sort of thing. And then if you come over here in your custom variables, right? You can put, you can look at these. So like here's custom variable two, post type. And you can click on that and you can see what people are looking at more, post pages or attachments. Then if I come back to, let's see here, don't steal the microphone. So let's do um, uh, custom variable number three. So you can see author and this becomes very interesting because you can see which authors are getting the most traffic. So you can see here, Greg Haberman, is beating me, and then it's me, and then Joe, Kate Falconer, and, and that, and so on. And these are all. This is these are custom variables that you can automatically inject into your Google Analytics if you are using WordPress and the the Yoast uh, Google Analytics tool. Check this out. This is the year. These are the posts um, from what year a post was created, and then you can click on it. And you can click on the year, like 2012, and you can do a second. Um, uh, you know, you can you could do like a uh, let's see a second dimension here, and you can see what posts people are uh, looking at by year. And so, custom variables are these really cool things. They show you your site in ways that Google Analytics couldn't do by itself. So, I highly encourage you if you're using WordPress to you know, install the Yoast Google Analytics plugin 
and select some of those um, variables. And if you're not using that, a, a lot of uh, content management systems actually have pre-made custom variables. You just do a search for it, like you know, Joomla, um, uh, Google Analytics custom variables, and you can check that out. And so uh, you might find some very actionable data in there. So check it out, custom variables in Google Analytics. It will change the way you think about your traffic. So did you find that awesomely interesting, Indy? Yeah, right. I mean, that's pretty much what everybody says. All right, everybody, I'm Sage Lewis, the web marketing video guy, and what do I say? Happy marketing. That's right.